Well, if you've been wondering why we haven't made many crappie videos lately, uh, it's definitely not because we don't want to be fishing for crappies. Um, the the lake that I do the best on for crappies, and you've seen all these big crappies come from. I don't know for sure, but I mean, it has to be. This has to be kind of a boom bust thing going on here. Probably had a couple of bad spawn years in a row. Uh, there's just there's just not much to be had there, um, which is crazy because last two years were awesome. Um, the numbers were pretty good, and the size was was incredible. I mean, caught some of the biggest crappies I've personally ever seen. Uh, from our state and uh, you know on just a regular day you go out and just pretty much not guarantee but pretty pretty darn close to catch a two pounder or something even bigger and, and a decent number of fish too some nice 10 to 13 inch fish and um, this year has been a total struggle I just spent about two hours on the lake hit some of the classic summer spots and um, I don't know maybe I caught five crappies and the biggest one was probably 11 inches um, two bass one one decent one I didn't put ton, spend a ton of time but you know all the spots where uh, I was fishing last year just don't seem to be holding much fish at all and definitely not big ones i mean occasionally i'll see one on the live scope that looks like a big fit big crappie it could just be a bass or a catfish um you know if, if if they are crappies they're just not biting anything um so it did take a, a couple little shots of the live scope it doesn't really turn out well because i don't have the helm feature whatever they call it active captain where you can record it so just gopro to the screen doesn't look the best but might be able to see something there you can you can see there's some smaller crappies in there but even they weren't biting um, it's just been it's been rough so I'm hoping come the fall if there are still still some big fish around that we can get them to bite but right now it has been super slow so we've been spending more time bass fishing and striper fishing which has been a blast I love it but I know everybody watches this channel for big crappies so uh, we're gonna keep trying hopefully we get on some big ones stay tuned Don't know what that is. Might be a catfish, could be a big bass. Big bass. Oh, and I got no net. <laughs> God, why do I how do I do this to myself all the time? Oh yeah. Man, there was four of them sitting there just like this guy. Come here, buddy. Give me your belly. Give me your belly. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. On the little swim jig. Nice. That's a healthy one there. He's not even that. He's probably maybe 16 inches. That's a three pound plus bass right there. Thanks for playing. Is really beat up. Uh, well, it's not fun on your hands. I saw one of these fish 
this little rock pile right here. I saw one of these fish. Sometimes you can't tell, you know, it might be catfish, whatever, but I saw one of them come up into this bait and eat, and it's just the way that he went up to it looked pretty bass-like. Let's see if we can get another one of these to crack off here. There's a ton of bait right above these fish, and hoping they just confuse my jig for shad. At times, though, you catch one in a school like that, and they're done. That's it. Told their friends, it's game over. I came out here looking for crappies, but it's been a rough, rough go this year with the crappies. I mean, they're just, there's barely numbers, and the numbers that I'm getting are small fish. It's been, it's been really, really tough. I mean, it's hard just to get 10, 10 inchers right now, which is incredible because last year and the year before, it was like, man, if I didn't come out and catch a couple of two-pounders, I was like, huh, something's wrong, but what I would do for a two-pounder right now. What else I got rigged up in here? This is a old favorite of mine. Really works well earlier in the year, but just a, uh, hopefully you can see that. You take these little, this little pencil weight here, jam it right in the nose of the worm. I don't usually use the full weight, but I'm on a time crunch here, so that and I usually put O-ring right there. But what you want is the, the hook point to be facing away from the, the nose where you put the weight in. So I just skin hook it if I don't use a if I don't use a oh no, I got that wrong because you go through this way. That way the idea is when you're hopping it around the bottom, the fish is usually gonna come down from the top and he's gonna grab the worm and boink right in the top lip. See if it works. Pulling up to a brush pile here. Hopefully there's some, I mean, there's always fish here. It's just whether or not there's any good size ones is the question and lately has been no such luck. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I just can't, I can't even get a small one to bite. I came out here for crappies, I haven't caught one. Not even a little one. See fish in here. I just I don't know if they're just mostly bass. I'm just not not really feeling it right now. Hmm. I mean this uh, this this fish right here is sitting right on top. That's big fish. Two big fish. If they're bass, they won't eat a worm, they won't eat a swim bait. I don't know what's going on. I know there's crappies in there. I can see them. And they just won't bite a thing. Try one more bait at them. Just one more natural, see if they will go for that. Usually with the stained water, bright colors are better for the crappies, but... So I'll throw a couple colors at them while I'm here. Try this little two inch Berkeley swim bait on a nickel jig head. Not as natural as you can get. Oh. 
Oh, one of them just hit it. Come on, baby. Come on, be the bait. Running out of time here, too. Come on, be a crappie. Be a big fat crappie. Not a huge one, but it's a crappie. Yeah. There, now we're talking. Now we're talking, little 10, 11 inch here. At least he ate. Okay, we got about 10 minutes hitting one. One last spot. Hopefully we get a few out of here. There's fish there. I don't know if they're crappies. It could be some bass there too. Looks like there's a few that could be crappies. So we're gonna, we're gonna hope. Bass. Come on, give me a lip. I swear, half the fish on this lake got a bite mark in them. Those muskies are just. Just chomping. Whoa! Okay, see you later. Thanks for shooting on me. So torn up from striper fishing. There's one. Yeah, I know my luck will start biting now that I gotta leave. many of these here. Come on. I already got bleeding already. I don't need any more spines today. <clears throat> Little perchy.
copy on the bottom. Nine incher. 